Since 2004, Mossad had been tasked with sabotaging Iran's nuclear weapons program. According to Israeli intelligence, Iran was working on a covert program to develop a nuclear warhead small enough to fit on top of their long-range missiles. So since 2007, Mossad had assassinated the Iranian general in charge of missile development, 16 members of his team, along with 5 Iranian nuclear scientists. But one man kept escaping Mossad's grasp, Mosin Fakhrizadeh, the father of Iran's nuclear program. Mossad had used a number of different techniques for the other assassinations. Poison, a remote bomb attached to a motorcycle, riding up next to the target in a motorcycle, then shooting through the window or attaching a sticky bomb to the car. But the planning for those were too complex and too risky. It led to assets getting caught and executed. So this time, Mossad was going to try something new. A remote-controlled machine gun hidden in the back of an unsuspecting pickup truck. You heard that right. Something like this had never been tried by them before. But due to circumstances, the plan was both approved by Israel and the US. First, they had to figure out how to get the weapon in place. The weapon of choice was a modified version of the FN Mag machine gun, attached to a robot arm with cameras. Kinda like this off-the-rack Sentinel-20 robot machine gun. But altogether, the system weighed around a ton. So it had to be broken down and smuggled into Iran in parts. The weapon was reassembled onto a common pickup truck model in Iran, and the robot was equipped with facial recognition and software to account for both the gun's recoil and the 1.6 second delay in the video feed. And the truck was rigged with explosives to detonate after the job was done to destroy evidence. And then the game was on. Friday, November 27, 2020, Fakhrizadeh starts his commute with his wife in the car, escorted by an armored convoy. His car, however, was not armored. He had received a warning of a potential assassination attempt on him that day, and he chose to ignore it. The pickup truck with the remote-controlled machine gun was placed along their route, right in front of a speed bump. Once the convoy got into the kill zone, the remote-controlled machine gun fired in at least three bursts, and in under 60 seconds, the father of Iran's nuclear program was assassinated, and the truck exploded. Unfortunately, the explosives didn't successfully destroy the weapon system, and the Iranians got a hold of the evidence. If it wasn't for that hiccup, the world might have never known just how advanced Mossad had gone with their wet work.